Hello everyone. How are y'all doing? I am glad to be back. Y'all, I'm feeling a whole lot better. Uh, what I'm to, I decided to do today is to share with y'all. I have made a meatloaf dish before. My meatloaf. But I was sort of hoarse on that video. And so, uh, I'm, I decided I was going to redo it because I was going to cook meatloaf on this evening. And so, I'm going to show y'all how I make my meatloaf. It's just a simple, simple meat, um, meatloaf. It's nothing, no special anything. Okay. Except for sometime I use the manwich. Sometime I use a little of that. But these are the simple ingredients. Okay, the simple ingredients are, I got a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder, and a half a tablespoon of black pepper. Okay, and this, and here, I have a half and half. I got half onions, chopped onions, and half chopped bell peppers. I got a whole cup, okay? And then back there, as you can see, I have some breadcrumbs. Some progressive bread come. It doesn't matter what brand. And I got some tomato sauce. And I got maybe three pounds of hamburger meat, okay? Okay, ground beef. Alrighty. Okay, I have showed y'all everything. So let's get to cooking. Okay, y'all, what I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to add my onions and green peppers. Like I told you, I got a cup. One cup of of the onions and bell peppers. Okay, I got my my trio as I call it. My three, my uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. Okay. Now I'm adding my small can of tomato sauce. Now I'm adding a half a cup of breadcrumbs. And I'm hoping that will be enough. If not, I'm going to add more. Like I say, I have that man manwich on standby just in case I... um. It's a certain texture of how I want it. And so I'm thinking it may not be enough. That's why I'm going to add them manwich to it. And y'all, manwich make a very, very good meatloaf. Believe it or not, it does. Okay, I decided to use the manwich. As y'all can see, I'm going to add that in there. Man, which makes a very good meatloaf to those who like that taste. If you don't like that taste, just get a can, you know, a regular can of of tomato sauce and put it in there. And it'll work just fine. It's a large, you know, the regular, not the small tomato sauce. You know that, like you get four for such and such or three for a dollar. Not those kind, the next biggest one. You can use those, okay? But today I decided to use the manwich along with the tomato sauce. Okay. And if you don't like your your um, um, meatloaf so chewy, you can always use more breadcrumbs. Don't overpower with breadcrumbs, please don't. Okay, I have asked y'all how y'all doing. But y'all, I am so glad to be back. I've been missing you all. Ooh, I've been missing you all. So, so much. I miss cooking for you all. See, the thing about this man, which... It gave, gives your meatloaf a smoky taste. Just like I said, if you don't want that, just use regular tomato sauce. Just regular tomato sauce. And it will do just fine. Yeah. 
y'all. I just got it blended together. I'm not using eggs. I'm not using eggs in this meatball, okay? Making sure I get all of that manwich. And this is the texture that I wanted. Yeah, this is the texture that I want. And so, what I'm getting ready to do now. See, y'all, that's just so simple. So simple. Yeah, while I was going through my, my sickness, I was thinking about y'all. I was thinking about myself too, you know. And I was thinking about y'all also. Okay, y'all, what I'm going to do, I done stirred all this up. I done stirred it up. Now I'm getting ready to shape it. Put it in a pan and shape it. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Uh, what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to get ready to... Try to like half in this mixture. Not half in it. Okay. Because so I'm going to put half. I'm not going to make a one big meatloaf. I'm going to make two. I'm going to make two. Let me bring it over here so you can see it. I'm making two. Two of them. Okay. See, that splits the time. That splits the time in half. Okay. And the other one over there. Put this away. Go ahead and shape this one. Okay. Let's see? How I do it? If you want it square, you can make it square. If you want it oval, you can make whatever shape you want. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm getting ready. To, I'm showing y'all this. I'm ready to put this in a 375 degree oven, and and I'll let y'all know exactly how long it stayed in the oven. Okay. Okay, as y'all can see, look over there. At me. So, can y'all see that? 375 degrees. Okay. All right, I'm about to put it in the oven. As soon as it get ready, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back. And the meatloaf was in there in the oven for approximately an hour. It was in there for an hour. As y'all can see, look at all that fat oil that came from it what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drain this you drain all of that off sometimes I leave just a little bit see it and it's not so a lot of that it's just water that's at the bottom I'm gonna leave just a little bit at the bottom so you know so your meatloaf won't be it's dry you know so what I'm gonna do let me show y'all what I'm gonna do Move this. I got some ketchup, and I'm getting ready to open this up. Okay, as y'all can see, I'm pouring the tomato sauce in this cup. I'm just making a little glaze to go on top of my meatloaf. Hey, I'm a, got a little ketchup. I'm gonna put maybe a couple of tablespoons in there. Stir it up. And just stir it up. Just mix it. Because what I like, I like that little hint of sweetness. Uh, you know, on my in my glaze. You know, the ketchup got a little sweet taste. And so I'm mixing that with my... tomato sauce okay 
mixing that up. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spread it on top, okay? Spread it. Let me show you. Just spread it on that one and then that one. Make sure it's well covered. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to put it back in the oven for maybe 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. And I'm going to be right back. Okay, y'all. I am back. I'm getting ready to, as y'all can see, let me bring it a little closer. You're ready to cut this meatloaf. Y'all, it is so moist. Y'all can see. Look how moist it is. Okay. Let me bring, push this over. Can y'all see? I'm trying to make sure y'all can see this. I'm trying to get it out without it cherrying. Okay, as y'all can see, look. See, look. Look at this nice and juicy meatloaf. It is so moist. Y'all can see. Let me find me a fork. Let me get a fork out. So I can show y'all. And y'all see it. Hey, okay, look. See? Okay, I'm getting ready to show y'all. Yeah. Y'all see how moist it is? Look. You know what? I'm going to get a taste tester. Just hold on. Okay, y'all. I got my granddaughter here, Chessa. She's here to uh, taste test this meatloaf. You know, uh, Miss, um, I think her name was Lisa. She wanted Lisa T. She wanted to uh, <laughs> somebody to taste our, my meals. And so we got Chessa here. And I'm telling you, she, she's the first one to have tried it. So let's see what she has to say. <laughs> okay, how, is it more? It's good. <laughs> it's fresh out of the oven, y'all. It's fresh out of the oven. Oh, it's so good. I don't know what y'all missing. It's so good. <laughs> I bet y'all cook this at home. Okay. Well, y'all done heard Chessa. Now, Chessa is my oldest granddaughter. She's the oldest of all my grandkids. And so, uh, she's here. And, uh, I decided to let her taste this meatloaf. Okay, y'all. Well, you see she's, uh, almost halfway finished. Well, I'm going to get ready to go, and I thank you all for praying for me. I thank y'all for all y'all prayers and y'all's concern about me. Y'all, I'm, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make I'm going to get back on my feet like I used to be, and um, we're going to make more videos, a whole lot of them. I know y'all have requests out there, and I'm going to try to fulfill some of your requests, and I have some of my own I'm trying to fulfill, and so... Um, Y'all, have a blessed day, and I'm going to say it's bye-bye for now. But you have anything to say? It's so good. Okay. All right, bye-bye for now. Okay, y'all, try this recipe. I just taste it. Yes, it is delicious. Okay. Just letting y'all see. This is my plate. I can't have any cornbread, but I can eat this. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all again, bye-bye for now.